Yeah, hi there. Well, I'm here in Bremen. Uh, and one of the major parks here in Bremen. So, well, Bremen has a lot of parks, so it's quite green. So this park is just uh, 10 minutes by foot from the center of town. So, and it's really huge, really huge. So I'm smoking uh, my, or one of my stand wool. So, I like that one. So it's with a lot, nice silver band. Yeah, and I'm smoking in it, and I want to talk about that. Some Samuel Gavitt Lakeland Dark. It is this. So, this is an interesting tobacco, I think. So, I'll tell you what they say about it. I have to translate it, it's in German. So, uh, dark fired, they don't say what kind of tobacco dark fired, but I know it's a Virginia. So, it's a dark fired Virginia, and it's going to be pressed. Uh, and then it's a flake then, and then for 24 hours it's baked in the oven. And then wrapped uh, by hand. So, and it is for, for people who like um, strong, ready wrapped tobacco, they say. I show you the tobacco. So, it is a ready wrapped, of course. It has some, you know, some bigger parts, so it's not a very fine cut or something like that. So, yeah, one point, if it comes to Samuel Gavitt, we always have to talk about, is the humidity. So, humidity, I think, is quite all right. It is a bit moisty. But normally, it should be all right like it is. So if you feel it, so you, you, if you feel it, you think, well, that, that should be okay. That should burn. So, if you light it up, you have, for me, I have strong cigar notes, really interesting strong cigar notes, and um, a bit earthy, but more woody. That's how I would describe the tobacco, even some sweetness. So, what? In the moment you light it up, for me, it is harsh. So, perhaps it's one of the most bitey and harshest tobaccos I ever smoked when it comes to natural tobaccos. So, you light it up, or I light it up, it gets harsh. I think, well, okay, slow it down, slow it down. I slow it down, and then the interesting notes come. So that's really fine. So strong cigar notes, like an Italian cigar, if you know that. So very interesting. But then when I slow down, the tobacco stops burning. So I have to relight. So I relight, and then that moment, the harshness comes again. So, I don't know. I can't really work out what's wrong. So perhaps I could give some drying, but I don't like that. So, and if you give some drying, normally tobacco gets even harsher. And if it's harsh already, you see, it doesn't burn very well for me. So I have to relight and relight. Mm. And with, with every relight, you get harshness again and you get nicotine, an amount of nicotine. Well, it has a lot of nicotine. So it is a strong tobacco, that's absolutely okay for me. But for me, I don't like when it, it gets harsh. And I've seen on the internet, I'm not the only one who thinks so. So there are some people, they just ad admire this stuff. Um, and that's all, of course, that's all right. In the end, it's a matter of taste. But for me, it is too harsh it bites me and well I'm, I'm, I'm interested in the in the fine notes in the cigar leaf notes I like that 
uh, and there is the point where this tobacco can provide this, and I like that, but um, yeah, but when it comes to a conclusion, that would definitely not be one of my favorite choices, to say this at least. You see, I have to relight. Um, and I, and I like ready rubbed, so I'm I'm very used in smoking ready rubbed. So that's that's not very typical. Mm. That I always have to relight. Uh, anyway, it's an interesting experience. You could give it a try, but don't blame me if it gets harsh. <laughs> so I tell you the price. Mm, it is twelve euros. 85 cent here in Germany so this is not cheap definitely not yeah that about the tobacco I could give you a quick view here because it's pretty nice we have autumn really autumn but you you already feel winter is coming so the morning is quite cold and it's quite foggy here but we had some nice days also last week. So I'll give you a, a quick a quick view. So you see here on the top of this little hill they built you know, some kind of ancient temple here that was built in the 19th century I think. So And you see, yeah, this is this is a small water place here. Perhaps you hear in the background. Now it's the time to uh, to work on the forest and to cut everything and so on. So perhaps I, one day I'm gonna tell you something more about this this park. So this park is called the Stadtwald. So the town forest. It's quite amazing and it's just 1.5 kilometers uh, away from the university. So when I was a student, I often came here just to find a quiet moment. And I, I sat there on the hill and watched in the forest. And no, I don't say nobody is around, but there are not many people around here. And if the weather isn't really nice then you can find some quietness here if there's no no woodwork done so I think that's it. that's it for the moment you see I have to relight again <laughs> so I will do that and take some steps and yeah then go back to my work at the desk so Hope you all are well, take care, wherever you are, uh, if winter is coming, where you stay, or if it's still hot, I don't know. So, take care and see you again.